Hello and welcome to a new episode of Champ Speak, wherein we feature Indian Oil's elite international sports persons who have done the country and the corporation proud over the years. We've had badminton players, singles players who had done extremely well. We had uh, Gopi Chand, who is the chief national coach. We also spoke to Kashyap in one of our serial programs. And today we have someone who has done extremely well in doubles. Doubles is looking up thanks to the efforts of players like Chirak Shetty, Satvik Ranki Reddy, Ashwini Purnapa and N. Sikki Reddy. We are indeed delighted to have with us on the show N. Sikki Reddy. Uh, welcome Sikki. Thank you sir. <laughs> and Sikki tell us, you know, it's been a long journey. I had the good fortune of watching you play at the Youth Commonwealth Games. Uh, you come a long way, then you had the Junior World Championships. Then you went on to, you know, win the, in 2018 at Gold Coast, you won the mixed team gold uh, medal. Also a bronze there in uh, women's singles. So, how has the journey been? Uh, I would say it was wonderful. There were many up and downs in my career, but um, I'm still playing badminton. So, that is that makes me really happy. And I'm really proud to be here and still wants to continue more and win more medals to our uh, country and to our corporation. <laughs> well, Shiki, that's very inspiring. And uh, tell us, you know, uh, you also, you played singles as well when you started out. And when did you decide to switch over to doubles? Of course, the decision proved very fruitful. Uh, but when, when did the transition phase come? Uh, I was really doing well in singles. Um, I was, uh, but unfortunately, I had a knee injury, um, ACL and then meniscus and cartilage. So I had uh, three surgeries on my knee. And then we decided that, um, me and Gopi sir has decided that uh, you're good at doubles too because I used to win singles and doubles both the categories. So, so and at one point, no, you have to choose one event. You can't play both the events. Then we decided to play doubles, and I was playing doubles, and then um, I was playing really well. Me and Pradnya used to play. Then me and Aparna Balan used to play. Then, uh, and then Ashwini and me partnered together, and we are going well. Well, you spoke about you know how you both decided, and uh, I think no one better mentor than. Uh, Gopichan, because he himself went through so many injuries yes. in his career, you know, to guide you. And you spoke about the various partners you played with. Uh, but as of now, what would you, you know, really point out as the highlight of your career thus far? As was it Gold Coast or was it winning uh, the gold medal at Shillong in 2016 South Asian Games? Uh, I would say I won't. I won't choose one, sir. Uh, there are a couple. So obviously the Gold Coast because it was my dream to win a medal. And then the gold medal is an historic gold medal, so which makes us really very happy. And um, obviously, even the Shillong mixed doubles uh, gold medal, so which is really uh, good. Good matches we played. I think we won some 30-29, which was a crazy match yeah. there. So, so all those things makes me very happy. <laughs> yeah, I remember I had the good fortune of yes. covering <laughs> that match, and uh, also the 2017 nationals at Nagpur. That was. One of the star-studded nationals, yes. which all top players played, Saina, yes, Sindhu, yes. you, yourself, it, it was really great that we have such nationals coming up and I think they are organizing it really well, the BAI too, for all the top players uh, and giving all the accommodation things and looking after really well with good stadium and courts, so which is really good. Now, Sikhi, you know, for you as well as not only badminton players, sports persons across the globe, the last year and a half has been very difficult. Yes. You know, tournaments being called off, you can't practice, so many COVID protocols in place. How did you cope with it? It would have been very stressful. Yes, actually, because before we, we know that uh, what exactly we are playing the tournaments, like we used to have a calendar uh, which comes one year before only. But now, we don't know what we are playing exactly. Uh, we send entries and the tournament gets cancelled or postponed uh, and then we have to choose an another one and another one so which is very uncertain and there are many rules and regulations. It's not like before. Too many protocols I would say that you can't go there, you can't go here, you have to be in the room only and not much of practice or not much of gym. They can't be in the group, so in sports no, it is all tough and you have to be really calm and like you have to be really like looking forward to play the match and if one player tests positive in the team then all the other players also have to go so many rules and quarantine procedure and also which makes you a little stressed uh, but which happened in all England recently so it was really tough I would say for the sports persons uh, not only in badminton I would say even in the other sports I think it's really tough but uh, 
our sports people are mentally very tough so which is really good that uh, they're coping up with it and uh, just being patient and putting their efforts 100%. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really good because you know the not only the physical part not being able to but the the psychological part yes. you know you keep yourself focused even in such difficult times and of course the Tokyo Olympics itself you yes, know sir. that happening yeah. was a big miracle you know yes. in in such times so you know we can all hope and pray that you know this situation normalizes and yes, <laughs> you all can go ahead and play tournaments yeah you know like it was happening earlier now let's talk about your speciality doubles of course you and Ashwini have done extremely well at the international level as well you also play mixed doubles so how is it balanced seeing both you know playing du women's doubles and mixed doubles so my role is very uh, simple in women doubles and mixed doubles ashwini is a good hitter and mixed doubles also you have to give an opening to your partner so my role is very simple i have to move at the net and give opening to my partner so which is almost similar like uh, so nothing much to change in my game in women doubles and mixed doubles so that is how it is helping me in women doubles and mixed doubles so so it's 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 going good. Like um, uh, I train mostly at the net skills and how to give an uh, opening for my partners and how do I create and uh, move in at the court. So I think which helps. Also, you know, you're talking about doubles. You know, we had a time when we are, you know, singles players were done extremely well. But doubles only of late we've been doing well. I'm talking about the international level, and uh, for that also, you know foreign coaches, doubles coaches coming and you know training you all ha has gone a long way I suppose. Yeah. Uh, I think doubles I think uh, obviously like uh, Sanev Rupesh and Diju Jwala, Jwala Ashwini and all these people have actually brought doubles into limelight I would say and then uh, Jwala Ashwini's world championship medal and then commonwealth mm -hmm. medal and then uh, all this and Diju Jwala playing for Olympics and they're being top 8 in the world and all this are the mentors for the doubles and then now Satvik Chirag are doing really well and everyone is look, looking after doubles uh, and there's a chance in doubles too and uh, yes we need a definitely a good coaches for doubles because we never had any um, professional doubles coaches uh, so I hope the uh, players who have been uh, stopped and doing like uh, giving us support like Arun Vishnu who, who works for us in Indian Oil, he's helping us out and he has been there in the international circuit uh, and he has played many tournaments and he knows how the tournaments, uh, like how the players are and what to get improved. So I think we need more ex-players to come into doubles coaching which will help us a lot and one foreign or couple of foreign coaches who can guide them and then who can get us more players. Now you rightly put it uh, Siki because you know the names you took Diju, Jwala, you know Arun Vishnu, Aparna Sanev, Banan, Rupesh, yeah, Sanev. yeah. They are the ones who really you know inspire and uh, talking about Sanev and Rupesh at the national scene they have gone for so many years yes, you know. Sir. As they say, for them, age is just a number. Yes, and when, and when I saw them playing, I was like maybe nine, ten years old, like when they were playing. So and the strokes they play, you know, it was it just mesmerizes me. Like how how did they play this and how did they do that? Uh, and doubles is very interesting and uh, you know it's very attractive. I would say like uh, it's very fast game and you need to be really very quick. And you know, you just spoke about when you were 9 years, 10 years old. <laughs> I wanted to ask you what attracted you to badminton. You know, when we were speaking to Gopi, and when Gopi became the national champion, he said, you know, there were hardly anyone from then it was Andhra Pradesh who used to, you know, do well at the national level. And then after that, it's been a revolution of so sorts, you know. Yeah. So many players from Andhra and Telangana doing well, not only nationally, but internationally as well. So, who was your inspiration? Uh, so basically when I started I used to play every summer some sports sir. like my father loves sports so one summer I did gymnastics one summer I did swimming one summer I did volleyball one summer I joined badminton then there was a tournament uh, in summer camp uh, which 50 to 100 kids were there and then they divided the categories and uh, I played and I won that and that, that's when coaches said that she has a talent why don't you send her regularly then we started regularly so that time I didn't have any goal or nothing I, I loved playing badminton and I enjoyed it so that made me continue and that's when Gopi sir decided that we need professionally to bring players up and then he decided to take us to the Gachibali stadium and then we used to play there until his academy was built up so that when I look after Gopi sir that I have to 
like become like him and uh, and once i got injured also he was my role model because he was the one who was guiding me what to do and what not to do so i look after him a lot oh that's wonderful and he there to guide you yeah is uh, is really doing wonders not only you so many players you know uh, and you know you all as you said look up to role models and gopi being the all england winner in 2001 that's something i'm sure would have inspired a generation of shuttlers not yes sir, definitely i think uh, now hyderabad has become a badminton hub means it's because of him because we never had such facilities when we started playing uh, at 9 10 9 years or 10 years old when we were there but now i think all the kids who are playing now i think very fortunate to have all this uh, facilities uh, good food good nutrition and good Uh, room facilities and everything is looking after look look, look after looking after sorry <laughs> so i think it's really great now you said about you know fitness nutrition which plays such an important part you know there was a time when badminton players as you said di- really did not have the support yes, system yes sir <laughs> so here at the academy and also at ba also taking care of all these aspects so has really helped players you know perform to the optimum level now uh, you know coming back uh, things are slowly normalizing uh, tournaments european circuit could happen which are the tournaments you are looking forward to and i'm i'm sure you are focusing on women's doubles right right now with ashwini yes sir so there is sudirman cup uh, which is a mixed event and followed by we have thomas and duber cup which is men's and women's world cup and then we have denmark super series and french super series so right now we are focusing on this four tournaments and i'm sure that this tournaments will happen because it is in europe so we are preparing for it now you spoke about uh, the sudirman cup the uh, thomas uber cup for women see that is where doubles plays a very important part yes sir and the team bo- the team bonding is really very important and the understanding between the players and who is very comfortable i think which is uh, very important and doubles actually plays a major role in the team events yeah because you know traditionally also this is where india had a bit of an issue because singles we used to do well but we really didn't have but players but sir now i think yeah. the things has been changed, changed yes. uh, so doubles are doing really well and doubles are pulling it off as you can see in commonwealth games we won the mixed doubles so which is really good and then men doubles also we have really good and women doubles me and ashwini are there so i think um, it's a it, it's going to be a good matches yeah you said 2018 gold coast yes and even it. in sudirman cup last year we played really well we bet indonesians and we lost quite close to denmark uh, so i think it's it's going to be fun i would even say even the asian games in john yes. because asian games winning a bronze medal is a huge achievement yes yes sir <laughs> because world and asia is almost when it comes to badminton yes sir yeah so uh, now slowly training has started you are getting back on uh, track uh, it's uh, full yes, fledged so training at the moment yeah training has been started but uh, the national camps has not been resumed still so i think if once the national camps come i think it will be more good uh, because we'll have more coaches and then it will be really nice and all the players will be here who can come and train so which is good now see looking at the international level you know doubles asian uh, if you see the asian setup you got so many superb doubles players china indonesia any particular pair you and ashwini look up to like uh, whom you would like to emulate sir i think the pair who recently won in the olympics uh, gracia poli and aprila i think uh, i really uh, admire them a lot and poli i think i've known her since so long time and uh, i think uh, she is my inspiration i would say <laughs> and uh, how is it when you go and play you know initially when you and ashwini start paired up and you know you started doing well when you go and play against these top players what is the you know mental makeup before you go for a match so uh, ashwini is a very senior to me and she actually reads the game very well and she has been in the circuit from quite long so we talk to each other we will have a uh, two game plans like uh, plan a and plan b so if it is going if it is really working out then we go with that plan if it is not when then we switch immediately and then um, with, so that will be our plan because in doubles you hardly get any time you know you to, even yeah. if <laughs> someone who is watching the action is so fast you know so you know you have to literally think on your yeah, feet yeah yeah and we have coaches in the behind so which they see and they tell us like this is not working you just change it and be ready there they are playing most of the strokes over there and actually i would say the understanding between the partners should be really good on court on that day then and automatically the game just follows 
well uh, you you've uh, done so very well we at indian all are proud to have you amidst us uh, thank you sir i should say that uh, we are playing so freely without any stress or pressure is because of uh, indian oil corporation because we know we are secured and there's nothing to do much just play and win medals for the country and the, for the corporation and how was the association been uh, since you joined the corporation i have joined quite late sir and i always wanted to join but there were no opportunity for me <laughs> but uh, when i joined till now i'm very happy and uh, not one single moment i felt uh, unhappy about the uh, corporation so i'm really glad and i'm really very happy to be with indian oil and also the pspb tournament the yes, petroleum sir. sector it's where the cream of indian badminton yes, is there sir. so yeah. that's almost like a national that's a, that's almost like a nationals because all the top players will play those tournaments and winning uh, winning for that is really great and and i think once more you know you've done so well and it's only natural that you won the coveted arjuna award uh, how was it you know getting that award uh, receiving it from the president of india it was it was one next level sir i would say and it was my dad's dream to get that award so and i always wanted to win and then my dad was really happy and i think my family was really happy more than me i would say because they struggled a lot so i think uh, so i dedicate that award to my dad actually <laughs> okay all parents you know and the very fact that in our country of course now things are changing there was a time when parents were always wary of you know putting the ch child into sports because yes. academics always came first so you know hats off to your parents yes sir who really you know took that uh, this of uh, you know i won't call it risk but they were bold enough i must say yes to sir true and being a woman and to send into the sports i think uh, that is one next level because i used to hear a lot uh, when i i wear skirts or shorts oh oh and that's back then but now i think things has been changed so i'm really glad and my parents were always there uh, who was very supportive yeah and they would be very happy today yes, to see sir. where you have reached uh, <laughs> yeah And anyone else, any who plays in your family plays badminton or any. My other brother sport? used to play, sir. Um, but when he moved to engineering, he stopped, and then now he settled in Australia. So, but he was a good badminton player. He was with the Sai Pranit, um, all this batch, uh, Sumit, and all this batch. So, used to play really well. <laughs> no, in fact, uh, his is just the opposite of Kashyap. Kashyap was to go for engineering. Last moment he withdrew, and that was badminton's game. Yeah. But in your brother's case, the opposite happened. Yes, actually, unfortunately, he had an accident, sir. Okay. So, and that's when he decided he had a thigh bone fracture while crossing the road. So that's when he decided to go to the studies. <laughs> okay. Also, talking about uh, you know players who switch who are good in both academics and uh, sports. Sports. You know, so you did very well. You did. You chose the right uh, career. and uh, what what are the uh, you know as i said may take some time for things to normalize but which are the tournaments you're looking forward to as you said of course the team championships are there so their man cup is there but other than that uh, i i'm sure your rankings also would have suffered a little because of you and ashwini were doing well in, within the top 30 yes years. so this year we were doing actually really well in all england we played uh, quarter finals and then orleans we lost in semi finals and suddenly there's a lockdown in our country and there's no tournaments um, but uh, i think um, we are looking for the uh, looking after this world championship in december which is going to happen in spain and the next year uh, commonwealth games and asian games um, in 2020 Two. Two, yeah. So I uh, think these three tournaments we are looking, and then uh, obviously, unfortunately, because of COVID, we have not got selected for the Olympics. We just missed by one rank, and which actually really hurts, even while talking. So, so hopefully, we give our hundred uh, percent the last 2024 Paris. Yeah, obviously, because you that's going to be our last uh, and one and only hope for us. So, which is like we are. we are going to prepare like anything for that <laughs> yeah, totally focused that's right because yeah. like you said even even uh, for chirag and satvik also one felt so hurt you know winning the two matches and just those points or the games you know denying them a place in the quarter yes, final so, so these yeah. are, these are hard break but i'm sure sikki you know sportsmen are always positive they learn even from their these failures or you know miss opportunities true sir 100% right totally agree with you <laughs> i think the failures makes us like more stronger and uh, like like you can learn a lot from that failures 
Yeah, as you said, failures are the stepping stone to success, yeah. and I think that's a very inspiring thought. Uh, just before we bid, bid goodbye, there are so many things you would like to speak to you about, but time being a constraint, <laughs> maybe we'll keep it for another time. But uh, message, maybe season two. Yeah, season two <laughs> of Cam Speak. Yeah, good. Yeah. So, uh, a parting thought to youngsters who may be watching. A lot of IOCNs would be watching this program on YouTube. So, and many of their children may be interested in playing badminton. So, what would your parting message be to all of them? So, I would tell them, whatever you're doing, just give your hundred percent and love what you're doing. Never be forced by anyone. Just if you're not liking it, anything, just tell them. But whatever you do, it just do it with hundred percent. Oh, what a wonderful thought to <laughs> Devi. Thank you so much, Siki, for taking time off from your training schedule and speaking to us. Thank Wish you the very sir. best on behalf of myself and the entire Indian oil family. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Pleasure is ours. <laughs> well, that is Sikhi ready for you, a double specialist, Arjuna Awadi, who has been an inspiration for so many budding doubles players. So that's all we have in this edition of Champ Speak. This is your host, S. Kishore, bidding goodbye. But we will have, be having many of Indian oil's international sports persons in the programs to follow. So until then, it's goodbye from the entire team here at Champ Speak. <laughs>